Hi there, and welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to be covering the new TX RZ840. And straight away, with the form factor, you can see it's a much less cluttered look and just having a really clean appearance. Behind the large door at the front is a whole host of buttons which give you a load of features. And what I would like to do is just run through a couple of the less obvious ones. The Music Optimizer is a circuit that actually looks at the MP3 and AAC compressed files and puts back what's been lost. Now this isn't the sort of thing you would notice on a cheap pair of headphones, but listening through the A40 is going to be completely different. Now there is a dedicated button for the whole house mode and what that will actually do is output the same signal across all of the zones all at the same time just by a single press of the button. By pressing the pure audio button on the front of the 840 actually turns the AV receiver into a stereo two channel only amplifier. This in turn will actually shut off the display and turn off all of the video processing as this helps to reduce noise internally and produce the cleanest possible signal. And we have two rotary dials actually on the front panel. One allows you to change the listening mode and then the other actually allows you to change the tone and the bass and the treble. The last really important thing for the front panel is actually hidden underneath the flap and that's where you plug in the auto calibration mic. And the RZ uses the advanced version of the AccuEQ room calibration. But what does this give you over the normal version of AccuEQ? Well, with a normal AQEQ, you will get your time, distance and levels all set for you for your single seat position, which is great, but we always want to do better. So that's why with the advanced version of AQEQ, we give you eight other seat positions. So with nine measurement points in total, you're getting the best possible sound you can from an Onkyo AVR. And talking about sound quality, did I mention that the RZ840 is THX certified and IMAX enhanced ready? This will be done by a future firmware update, but more importantly, what does IMAX enhance mean for us? Well, we can break this down into four areas. Imagery is going to be better. It's going to have clearer, brighter images. The sound, well, that's going to be delivered by DTS and it's guaranteed to be completely immersive picture. Now this is going to be something slightly different because the aspect ratios for IMAX is different and bigger than what we're normally used to and it's going to take full advantage of the HDR system. Absolutely fantastic because the RZ840 fully supports 4K HDR, HDR10, HLG, Dolby Vision. So we've got pretty much everything covered for you on both the audio and video front. And now I think it's time we take a look at the back panel of the RZ840. And as you'd expect from an OnQ OVR, the networking features are all here. We've got TuneIn, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, and Amazon Music. Don't forget you can play your own music either off a DLNA server or through Windows Media Player. And you can plug in a USB thumb drive or a small self-powered hard drive. HDMI ports on the rear are all fully assignable and support HDCP 2.2. And they will actually pass through true 4K. The 840 as well has two HDMI outs, the main and the sub, but the sub can also be switched into the zone two. So that means you can have a different video playing in a different room at the same time. There are some legacy connections for you as well. We've got a coax and an optical in. We've got a component and two composite video ins, which are fully assignable. Now, if you've got an external control system, you'll know exactly what these ports are for. And you can plug this unit directly into the brain of your control system and have complete remote access to all the features and functions. And one of those main functions is being a 9.2 Dolby Atmos and DTS-X enabled AV receiver. This means you can have a 5.1 system with a powered zone two and powered zone three, or you could go for a 5.1 EX system, or you could completely immerse yourself with a 5.2.2 system, or even a 5.2.4 system. But we can go bigger utilizing the pre-outs on the back of the 840. This allows you to change the 840 from an AV receiver into a preamp and allows you to add some very nice power amps. And then lastly on the back, we've got some assignable analog phono inputs. Now you can map any of these inputs to any of the label buttons on the front, except for the turntable input. 
I'm afraid that's fixed for Phono because there's a dedicated moving magnet preamp built into the 840. And I think that just about covers us on the back of the 840. But the last thing I do want to cover about the 840 is in regard of its networking capabilities. Now to give you the most flexibility, we've given you DTS PlayFi, Flare Connect and works with Sonos all of which enable you to take the 840 from just a simple AVR to become the hub of your whole house audio network. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, the first look at the 840. If you have, please like and subscribe. It really does make a difference to the channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, happy listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.